Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the clear cover and the effective cover. So in this lecture we will uh, discuss these two topics. So we provide the cover actually to protect the reinforcement from the corrosion phenomena. So that's why we provide the cover for the reinforcement. Now what is the clear cover and what is the effective cover? So let's first discuss the clear cover. The clear cover is the distance uh, from the extreme fiber of the beam. For example, if I consider this beam cross section, these are the two beams cross section. Uh, I just taken an example to explain these two topics. So if this is the beam and these are the steel bars, uh, two in the top and three steel bars at the bottom, and at this depth of the beam, so the clear cover can be defined as the distance from the top of the beam, from the top surface of the beam to the top surface of the reinforcement. This distance from the top of the beam to the top of the reinforcement distance. This is the top of the reinforcement. So this distance is known as the clear cover. Clear cover. In this case, from this top of the beam to this top of the reinforcement. This is the top of the reinforcement. So this distance is known as the clear cover and this have different value in case of the beam, slab, column uh, as well as in the footing. The clear cover have different values. The effective cover can be defined as the distance from the top of the uh, from the top of the inner beam section to the mid of the reinforcement to the mid of the reinforcement. So this distance is known as the effective cover, right? It includes the distance of the reinforcement, the mid of the reinforcement is the extra distance which includes the includes in the effective cover. Similarly, in, the, in this case from the bottom, uh, the effective cover can be defined as the distance from the extreme fiber of the beam to the middle of the reinforcement. So this distance is now called as the effective cover. And usually the cover value for the different structure member is for the beam, uh, we have the uh, clear cover of, uh, we can say, 40 millimeter. For the column, we also take the uh, clear cover as 40 millimeter. For the footing, we take minimum of, minimum of 60 millimeter. Uh, in case of the slab, it is 25 millimeter in case of the slab. It is usually 20 or 25 millimeter. So these are the some values uh, for the structural members of the uh, clear cover. So this uh, this topic we discuss the difference between the clear cover and the effective cover, and these both are used in the designing of the beam. So we should know the difference between these two topics. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.